Welcome back to the review section. Mm -hmm. And I just want to go back to the article a bit. Mm -hmm. So Carlos Ghosn is a citizen of Lebanon. Mm -hmm. And despite fleeing there, mm -hmm. Japan doesn't have an extradition treaty mm -hmm. with his native country. Extradition. Extradition. So, yep. this is quite undecided about, well, what would happen, even though he, I do believe he's on trial now. Hmm. Um, he stated that he's not trying to run away from the law. Mm -hmm. But people are kind of seeing this as an excuse and that he wants to find a fairer way to clear his name. Clear one's name. Clear one's name. I know that he's been in trouble with uh, these kinds of things before. He was, he actually asked uh, an American security company to help settle his civil cases mm -hmm. in the past. And when he was held captive, uh, well not, when, when he was in jail in, I think, Japan, that he posted bail for, I think it was like 1.5 mm -hmm. billion yen. Settle. Settle. Bail. Bail. So he he's not the cleanest of people, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah One point five billion yen. I believe that was paid. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. He got let out, and is, uh, now the situation is a bit unclear. Mm. But I'm curious. Like he's a very well known. Mm -hmm. person. Yep. He's a celebrity basically, mm -hmm. the most famous fugitive. Yeah. So how do you think celebrities um, are treated against the law? Is it different than normal citizens? I definitely believe so that it seems just from what we see on the news that how can I say well-known people, celebrities, famous people, maybe politicians as well mm -hmm seem to get more of a lighter sentence. Definitely. Uh, as an example, uh, if we go to certain YG mm. uh, celebrities, they have done some pretty, mm, I'd say terrible things. I would say so. Um, however, if this was a normal person, I am pretty sure that that person would be in jail. Right, they'd be locked uh, up very quickly. Exactly, so I think in my opinion, money does talk when uh -huh. it comes to the law. Um, this doesn't just happen in Korea though as well. It, it also happens in other countries where celebrities do get what we refer as like a slap on the wrist, exactly. which is a light punishment. Right, right, mm -hmm. and I completely agree. Mm -hmm. I feel as though celebrities have a lot of influence mm -hmm. and a lot of connections. Yeah, yeah. Um, like we said, here in Korea, I believe that some people working in YG have some mm -hmm. deep connections. Yep. Um, and in England too, I've seen this happen with celebrities mm -hmm. where, like you said, they get a slap on the wrist. Right, right. So what do you think are some laws that are different, like as, as an example, between here in Korea and maybe the UK? Um, to be honest, the only thing that really comes to mind mm -hmm. is the severity on drug laws. Okay, yes. Um, in Korea, I feel as though that is actually very strict for mm -hmm. a very light drug, whereas in England, mm -hmm the kind of minor drugs are it's very light and you mm -hmm. you will just get a slap on the wrist basically mm -hmm. um apart from that i feel as though the uk system is um a lot stricter mm -hmm. than korea's mm -hmm. um but i can't really think of any else what about you well i think that uh in australia they obey the law more in, i would say in my opinion uh, police are not really respected here, if I would have to say. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't mean that in a bad way, but in comparison to if you go to Australia, if you don't listen to the police, it can be quite a severe problem right. where you can go to jail. Uh, I've seen on the streets drunk people not listen uh, to police yeah. and, uh, you know, the police can't really do a lot about it at that situation. So I think in my opinion as well, Australia is a bit more strict when it comes to adhering to the law. Exactly, exactly. And, and may, maybe uh, Carlos Ghosn actually knew about that in Japan. Yeah, maybe he tried yeah. to find some kind of way out and tried to take advantage of it. Yeah. So yeah, that does it for the review section and we'll see you in the next unit.